Well, I grew up um, at 18 Catton Grove Road, Norwich. My dad was a builder and my mum was a nurse. My childhood was quite, quite fine. I had a brother, Michael, and we also had two dogs. Always had dogs. My dad loved Airedales. I went to the Notre Dame School in Norwich, and I was there till I was 16. I wasn't allowed to get married till I was 21 because my dad was of the old, was old fashioned, but maybe he was right, who knows. Peter, who was my boyfriend then, we got married on in 1959, September the 26th at Old Catton Church. And then we went back to Churchill Road and uh, started our married life there. Consequently, all, all my children, my four children, were all born at Churchill Road. Paul, Stephen, Linda and Susie. Unfortunately, I find this hard. Peter died in 2000. He committed suicide which was a shock to all of us. And we'll always miss him, all of us, and we still miss him. We always will. Year after, or two years, I don't know. The girls at work said, you must have a whipper. You always wanted a whipper. And lo and behold, I did. I had Geoffrey, who was a great pal, great company. And uh, I was as happy as anything. I got my church, I'd got Geoffrey, and I was quite happy in my life. I worked at St Nicholas House for 16 years. I retired when I was 70. I used to get a community car because I couldn't drive, as never been able to drive. Who should come along in one time but uh, Ted, who, who I live with. And um, that's, that's where I live now, with him, looking after him, because he's not in such great health now, and uh, as long as I can, I shall look after him uh, to the best of my ability. We've got another dog, Lenny. He is seven now, at the moment he's seven, and uh, he chases cats, which is a bit of a nuisance. He's had me down several times, but that is Lenny and that is what happens. My family is important to me and my grandchildren, to know they're okay and to know and to see them get on in life. I like to see them win. What more could I ask for, you know? I just hope that they'll all, and my grandchildren will be happy. And my great-grandchildren are growing up. Well, they're only young, but uh, I, I hope that they'll, they'll get on in life, yes, yes. But it's hard, life is hard, and it's busy, but it's good. And I think that's why I, I'm, I'm as I am, I hope to be. And I've got God looking after me, so, yeah. If I get in any muddles, I like to come over the slope, I, I ask God to help me and he does. Or if, if, I, if I don't feel up to it, I just ask for his help and he helps me, yeah. 
I've got a great belief. I, I would just love to say thank you to my family, to Paul, Stephen, Linda and Susie for their love and care over the years since I've been on my own. They mean so much. I love them. I don't I just want you to keep safe and to keep well. That's the message I'd like for you all to keep well and keep safe and, and enjoy life. That's what I'd like to see you do, definitely.